Today we're in the kitchen with Tim Spinner, chef and co-owner of La Calaca Feliz and Cantina Feliz in Philadelphia. So we've got a great spread here today. I'm dying to know what we're going to cook. Uh, today we're going to cook octopus skewers, yeah. also known as pupo al hombres. Pupo al hombres. Yes. So we have a, a nice uh, eight pound octopus over here, Spanish octopus, because the Spanish octopus are the best. We have some boiling water. We're going to season it with salt, mm -hmm. a little bit of red wine vinegar, nice. some garlic. Lemons. A lot of acid. Yes, acid will help break down the octopus and okay. make it a little bit more tender. And some pickling spice. What's the point of that? You're going to pickle the octopus? It, gets some, it gives it like a nice flavor. You know, the pickling okay. spice has bay leaf, allspice, mm -hmm. clove, black pepper. Very fragrant. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. A little bit of chili in there. Okay. And you'll pick that up on the octopus when you, when, after it's poached. Great. Now you have that sitting in water or is it just uh, It's just goofy? defrosted. It's just, yeah, a little, you know, gooey looking. But... Uh, you know, gooey and slimy. Fresh. It's fresh. Very, exactly. So we're going to just invert the octopus Okay. over here. What's the point of doing that? You know, it's just when it cooks, it kind of cooks it evenly. I, okay. You know, and I, it's just a method I picked up and, uh, you know, I've always had success with the octopus. What we're going to do is we're going to, there's a process of scaring the octopus. And that's basically you're going to dip the octopus mm -hmm. a few times into the boiling water and it kind of seizes the skin Yeah, you can see the those tentacles start yeah. to curl up. Because otherwise, if you just drop it in and it starts boiling mm -hmm. and everything, all the skin's just going to peel off. Okay. And you're going to have like a white octopus instead of having those really nice... That's very uh, interesting. ...purple, you know, tentacles. Would have never known to do that. We're going to cook some pearl onions. All right, great. These are for the skewers. We're going to kind of intermingle the uh, octopus mm -hmm. once it's cooked with pearl onions and poblano peppers. We're just going to lightly caramelize these. Okay, so you want to get some nice and tender. On. Yep. Now, while you got some oil splattering over there, I better put my apron on. Don't want to ruin this beautiful dress that I got over at Knitwit, <laughs> the Knitwit stores. All right, we're, we're going to make our potato puree for the octopus. All right. You know, octopus and uh, potato is just a classic combination. While you're doing that, why don't you tell us a little bit about the restaurants? Yeah, you know, I, I worked for a gentleman named Jose Garces for a long time. Oh, so I think I've heard of him. We were uh, inspired, you know, by his cooking and by his food. And, mm -hmm. you know, a good friend of mine, Brian Serhall, him and I decided to open a Cantina Feliz, and uh, you know it's it's a modern Mexican restaurant. And then we have La Calaca Feliz, which we just opened in January oh, of this so year. Oh, new! And that is a kind of more of a you know a little bit edgier than right. uh, than our our sister. What uh, does cantina. La Calaca Feliz mean? La Calaca means uh, the skeleton. Okay. And Feliz is yeah. happy, so it's oh. a happy skeleton. And all around the uh, the restaurant. We have tons of Day of the Dead murals. Right, that's what it means. Day of the Dead artwork. Yeah. And uh, it's just a really bright, vibrant space. We have a beautiful outdoor patio to nice. sit outside. Nice, always nice in the summertime. Yeah, and there's mm -hmm. a, an awesome magnolia tree back there that mm -hmm. just is blossomed right over top of you. And a uh, you know, nice open kitchen. Is there it's a, a full real, bar? There's a full bar. Good margaritas? The best margaritas. <laughs> it's been awesome. It's been really busy. And, uh, you know, Excellent. the neighborhood uh, it's in Fairmont and the neighborhood's really uh, em embrace yeah. the... Uh, the restaurant. Here we have our potatoes. We're going to boil them until they're they're nice and tender. Mm -hmm. We're going to put them through a tammy and whisk in a little bit okay. of cream, a little bit of butter, okay. season them with salt to come up with this nice potato puree. In the meantime, we're going to make our marinade for the skewers. We have uh, wahio chilies right here okay. that we're going to peel and de-seed. All right. Now that's to get rid of some of the heat. There's a little bit of uh, heat in them. Mm -hmm. These chilies, believe it or not, are actually a little bit on the... There's. They're kind of mild. We're just gonna toast the chilies. Okay. Now you could toast them on the on the stove, or you could just throw them in the oven for you know a minute to release some of the flavor in the chili. Okay. You know, you want to be careful not to burn them, otherwise they'll be bitter. So we're gonna rehydrate the chilies, and then what else is gonna go into the marinade? Uh, it's just gonna be a little garlic and a, a little bit of the uh, olive oil and vegetable oil, the, the blended oil that we have. So you could actually probably grab uh, one of the Duro. All right, I got it. And are we gonna use a chili? Uh, yes. Now you see they come individually portioned, so you just want one? Uh, we'll do two. Two? Like it a little Go extra spicy it. today, huh? Oh yeah. It's not Mexican food without a little bit of chili. We'll strain it out, and this is exactly what we come up with over here. Once it's strained, is that nice? Oh wow, nice look at that. Beautiful little, color. Yep. So this is a poblano chili, and we're gonna make just some nice little dice cubes. So this is the already cooked octopus. Yes. We're going to cut it basically on, on, a, on a nice little bias over here. Mm. We'll start with uh, one skewer of, or one piece of octopus. 
and then we'll go into a one of these caramelized yes. pearl onions. Okay. Now, could you eat the octopus like this as is? Is it Absolutely. cooked enough? Yeah. Okay. No, it's great too. If you just marinate in a little lime juice, mm -hmm. a little bit of olive oil, okay. uh, you know, some herbs, cilantro. So and when we cook it later, it's really just to get a char on it. Nice and, char, yeah. Mm -hmm. So All this right. is served as an appetizer? Yeah, it's an appetizer okay, at the great. restaurant. Okay, yep. great. What other kind of things do you have on the menu? Is it more traditional Mexican food, no, tacos? You know, we do have a lot of tacos, yeah. but again, modern, modern interpretations of the sure. tacos. You know, we just do some like, Nice wild truffle mushroom tacos. Oh, okay. And, uh, so something different. A little we French do, uh, influence. Yeah. We have, uh, you know, of course, the, the ever popular fish taco. Or we're mm -hmm. really known for our carnitas. Love so carnitas. We have the, uh, the best carnitas tacos. And then, you know, we do like gourmet nachos mm -hmm. and a lot of different entrees. Now, how long do they have to marinate for? Is this no, a this quick No, this is just a quick, a quick marinade. Okay. That's it. The color on there. It's just a quick, great. yeah, it's just a quick sear on each side, you know, just a little bit of caramelization. Mm -hmm. Now, what was that that you threw that was on just with a that little bit of, or uh, parsley? No, just a little bit of parsley. Nice presentation. And what's Thank this you. on the top? Uh, just a little arugula. A little micro arugula. Yep. Yum. Looks there great. Tim, this looks so delicious. But before we taste, I want to pour us a little bit of wine. We've got a nice light rosé here. So awesome. it should go nicely with the octopus. Excellent. Mm. Wow. The octopus is so tender. And the po potato puree under nice, underneath is really nice too. Mm. Mm. The marinade, it's not too spicy. It's not really spicy at all, actually. No, it's just subtle. Mm -hmm. You want the octopus again to shine. You just taste the flavor of the chili. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. Well, Chef Tim, thank you so much for being on the show today. It really thank was a pleasure. Me. The food was delicious. Excellent. Please thank join you. us again. Well, Thanks. Thank you.